Organic Alternatives to Soil Fumigation Soilborne pests, pathogens, and weeds can reduce yield and quality of crops significantly. Walking among crops infested with soilborne pests and diseases, one can find weeds, soilborne pests, and brown plants caused by fungal pathogens. Lower yield and fruit quality will result in lower farm profits. Disinfesting soil prior to planting thus becomes essential to improve farm performance. Currently, soil fumigation is one of the most effective ways to fight weeds, soilborne pests, and pathogens. However, it has many negative environmental, ecological, and human health effects, including surface and groundwater contamination, soil quality reduction, air contamination, and human illness. According to the California Department of Pesticide Regulation, an average of 115 fumigant illness cases per year were reported between 1992 and 2015. To avoid the drawbacks of chemical soil fumigants, there exist sustainable alternatives, including solarization, anaerobic soil disinfestation, and biosolarization. California is a large state with diverse climates. Let's see how these practices may vary depending on region. For example, in Southern California areas like the Imperial Valley, summers are extremely hot and dry. These conditions prevent farmers from planting crops during the season, but provide a great opportunity to apply soil solarization. Solarization is a simple technique and videos and guidelines for application are provided by the UC Davis Cooperative Extension. To apply it, the target area is smoothed and covered with plastic tarp. The soil must be wetted to improve heating capacity. This can be done prior to tarping or after plastic application. Solarization relies on the greenhouse effect. Solar radiation passes through the transparent tarp and the heat becomes trapped in the soil. This allows the soil to reach temperatures lethal to pests. In some regions, farmers cannot, or do not wish to, rely on solar heating. For example, in coastal regions like the Salinas Valley, weather conditions do not allow soils to reach lethal temperatures. In this case, simple solarization won't control the pathogens and may even enhance their development. In these regions, anaerobic soil disinvestation, or ASD, can be used as a fumigation alternative. In this process, degradable organic matter is incorporated into topsoil, which is then covered with an opaque plastic tarp and saturated with water. The tarp maintains the high soil moisture, which induces anaerobic conditions and stimulates anaerobic microbes. These anaerobes will decompose organic matter, resulting in the buildup of decomposition products toxic to soil pests. Because this process is climate independent and does not rely on solar radiation like solarization does, any type of impermeable plastic can be used. For example, a black plastic tarp that can provide mulching as well as anaerobic conditions is common. In areas where organic matter and solar radiation are readily available, we can merge principles of solarization and ASD into biosolarization. Biosolarization uses the solar heating from solarization in combination with anaerobic degradation of amendments similar to ASD. The application of clear plastic tarp not only increases the soil temperature, but also increases the activity of beneficial microbes. As a result, byproducts of the breakdown of the organic matter will build up along with additional biological heating. All of these factors together increases the speed at which soil is disinfested. In short, these fumigation alternatives use a variety of actions to disinfest soil. The most important are heating, biopesticides, and oxygen depletion. Adding the organic matter would also increase beneficial microbes that would ultimately improve soil health post-treatment. In addition, adding organic matter can reduce the duration of the treatment. This table outlines the action of each technique. There are some important factors to consider before using one of these methods. The first is plastic tarp application. Plastic can be manually or mechanically applied. It is important to keep headspace minimal between the soil surface and plastic. 
To guarantee biopesticide accumulation and a low oxygen environment, impermeable film is recommended. Finally, transparent plastic tarp will promote higher solar heating but may actually promote weed growth in colder regions. Several irrigation practices are compatible with these fumigation alternatives, including sprinkler, drip, flood, and pulse irrigation. Specifically for ASD, drip irrigation would be the most desirable as it would allow additional irrigation periods during the treatment to guarantee anaerobic conditions. Soil texture and structure are also key factors that affect the efficacy of these processes. Anaerobic conditions are difficult to achieve with sandy soils, and so they may need additional inputs of organic matter and water. However, sandy soils will recover faster and can be used for planting soon after treatment. Heavy soil, on the other hand, will promote anaerobic conditions for longer periods, needing less irrigation and organic matter inputs, but the slow diffusion of the biopesticides warrants longer remediation time between plastic removal and planting. Given constraints of geography and resources, one of these pest management strategies may be successfully employed as a fumigation alternative. These techniques are also becoming a promising tool to manage organic waste.